Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to realclearpolling.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you would like to support us, send a super thanks and a super sticker. We got real clear polling results up on our screen showing you some of the states at the bottom and also the Electoral College top battlegrounds. Who's currently winning? Trump is at 0 0.7. That's less than one point. If a candidate is at five points or more, it's almost, <laughs> it's almost exactly likely that they will win the national election and become the president of the United States. So nobody has hit that um, five-point margin. It says nationally, though, Kamala Harris is somehow at 1.7 at 49.2%. Donald J. Trump is at 47.5%. Let's film that map according to realclearpolling.com. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to realclearpolling.com, Nevada has Trump at 0.5, making Nevada red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, according to realclearpolling.com, has Trump at 1.1 again, which is higher than he was a few days ago. That makes Arizona red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the third district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, according to realclearpolling.com, Wisconsin has Harris at 0 0.3, making Wisconsin blue for Kamala Harris. Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, according to realclearpolling.com, has Trump at a one-point exact lead, making Michigan red for Donald J. Trump, giving him those sacred 15 electoral votes. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, with 16 electoral votes, according to realclearpolling.com. Trump has a 0 0.7 lead over Kamala Harris, making Georgia red for Donald J. Trump. Now we got South Carolina, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a 1.4 lead over Kamala Harris, giving North Carolina's red to Donald J. Trump and 16 electoral votes. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a 0.3 lead in Pennsylvania as of right now, giving Donald J. Trump the red 19 electoral votes. New York, with 28 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. And Maine, for some reason right now, the whole state of Maine is blue currently. So all three on the little guide are blue for Kamala Harris. It's shifted between blue, light blue, red, light red, partial blue, half red, half blue. 
So it's, as of right now, blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Nebraska at large, sorry, I forgot about that earlier. Nebraska at large is red for Donald J. Trump, so we don't forget that. And now New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris. This gives Donald J. Trump 301 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 237, making Donald J. Trump your president once again in the White House. If you don't like these results, tell your friends and family to go out and vote for the candidate that you like. If you like Kamala more, tell them to vote for Kamala more. If you like Trump more, tell them to vote for Trump more. It doesn't matter who you pick. It's what makes you happy. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are, are out. out.